you know, then the misery begins. You know. The I know the high for me, I'm correct. It's like the person I used to be, but then when I get it comes down, then I'm back to the person I didn't ever. I don't want to be. Um, eventually, the anger is going to grow old and cold, and the fondness that I have for these people um, that's really stronger than any grudge I could hold is going to take over, and um, I'm going to put my arms around these people and be glad that I know them. And uh, whether they mean it or not, I know that they do love me and they do care about me, and they have been worried about me and where I've been. We come here to get high, we come here to smoke, we come here to shoot up, and we come here to pass out. We come here to do dates. We come here to eat. <laughs> we use this house for a lot yeah. for a lot of for a lot of shit. What's up, Rick? Hi there. What's up guys? Hey. 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 Hey, what's up, man? Everybody knows my man Greg. Hi, Greg. Greg is Greg. Is the idea of family is uh, they're there when I needed them each and every time that I need them. That is the reason that I call them family. Um, birthdays, we celebrate birthdays. You know, um, when we had disasters in our family, like when Phyllis's son died, we were all there for her. Um, it's just we're there for each other. When push comes to shove, I don't care what we do, we're always there for each other. See, the mortician actually owns the house. As I'm told, I run the house. Uh, push comes to shove, our motherfuckers don't know how to act. Gotta give them the act right stick, you know. That's where I always come in line. Running it ain't shit when you got other people behind you. you know. 2550. What's up, Phyllis? As long as you don't come down here. Hey, y'all better be ready because I'm, I'm ready to buck up and up. If the cat was a politician, cat would be the Secretary of State because she loves playing with bombs. She can easily play with a bomb. She would play with the trigger, turn the key, off and on, off and on, off and on. And we'd be wondering, we can catch the steering wheel for the first time in our life to drive the crew. Man, I'm still nervous because cat got the last say so. A female of all creatures on the planet controlling the planet. But you was named by a female, you was had by a female. Nine out of ten times, you're gonna get buried by a female. Your mama, your wife, your sister, your cousin. It's gonna be a female to lay your ass to rest. Guarantee your last words gonna come from a female. So don't underestimate what a female can do. Don't puff it all and then pass it. I'm saying, right? No, it's loaded. If it's dead, you're gonna get it. You know, I'm the bitch, <laughs> so I don't want to let other people down. My peers, I don't want to let my peers down. I got to live up to their name, to their, you know, bitch name, so. Yesterday? What is this, Pat? I don't know you guys It's definitely a without a doubt. It's a queen run London. It's a queen run the whole show. It's a queen run this organization right now. Who could believe it? But we all got to not bow down, but respect her. Gee, that was good, Puff. Thanks for the thought. Excuse me. Cat. Cat is um, our mom, friend, worst enemy. <laughs> She's everything in one. But I don't know. You know, she's just there for everybody, somewhere or another. She knows how to hustle. She knows. It. She uh, she just knows how to be. You know, she's. Uh, what would you say? Like, she knows how to make money. She knows how to make friends. She knows how to be a family, and she tries to keep everybody as a family. You know, she's hard on everybody because she believes so much that even though we're, we're uh, prostitutes, drug addicts, whatever we are, it, we're still a family. And we're still people. And we're still people. Yeah. And we don't have to 
be less than that. Yeah, she does believe that. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. Try to keep yourself respect at all costs. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, she does. She does have a knack for uh, organization, believe it or not. So uh, the technique she uses might not always be the best, but she does have a way uh, about getting people to um, kind of cooperate. So not everybody has that has that knack or skill. So it wouldn't be my place. I know that. <laughs> We, we'd think for real if I was in charge. <laughs> I'd be giving everything away. Uh, but I've seen her, you know, where she's a little rough on other people. But she's a friend. Yes. She's got a little bit more to say about Kip than I would. <laughs> I just don't think she likes me and she just doesn't take no shit. And when Can't she hears something, she just comes at me without asking no questions. Pops me in the head. And I take it because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> she, ain't used, she ain't worth me losing my teeth over, so I don't fight back. Laura! Yeah. Come here, Laura. Come here. And the Stop picking at your face, you're making it bleed. And then she won't wash her hands. Check it out. Hello. There's your lipstick, Jamie. What? Yeah. Jamie. What? How do you two end up disrespecting me like that? Why? What did I disrespect? Who owes Popeye ten dollars? from day to day, uh, just day to day living, somebody's got to clean. Somebody's got to, uh, you know, keep things in order. Somebody's got to keep everybody from getting at, at each other's throats. And because everybody gets high, um, there's got to be somebody in that house strong enough to let some of these girls know that you don't take what's not yours. If you pick at your face again, now, what were you going to say? I'm getting ready. Didn't I just say I want to try to go get some money? Okay, so what does Janet have to do with disrespecting me? Oh, I didn't know. Because when I went in there and I was talking... You I wasn't walk. even in there. You were in the bathroom. I was in there when you said if he was there, and I said he's right here, and I walked out the bathroom. So I don't know anything else about when you guys did a transaction, first off. Second off, how do I figure that you disrespected me? Is that what you want to say next? Then how did you? Is what I'm asking you. Because I didn't go to you. Thank you. Now, how Someone did you... said, take care of your business, and you walked out, so I still... So, you didn't disrespect me by not telling me that you took, that you owe my man $10? I didn't even... All right, maybe, yeah, in a way, but I thought when you said, take care of business, that... What, that you think it's okay to borrow money from oh, my dude? No, I, I just assumed that you we were taking care of business. Laura and Jamie, you both know. Come on. Yeah, but I Laura, wrong now check this out. Do you see what Jamie's doing right there? We know Jamie's going right back out. Get your fucking ass dressed and go get the fucking money. Whether it's $2, $3, or $5. I don't want to see you sitting over here going, I need to crack it, I need to crack it, because you're going to get one. Twice I said that right now. The next time, if you're sick, come to me. Because the next time you borrow money on the front because it's not enough, I'm going to crack hit you both. If you don't come and tell me. You know, it's like with Laura, you, you, you got to like, you hate her and love her at the same time. You got to love her because she's one of us, but dislike her because, you know, she just has different morals and different ways about herself. You know? I'm going to try to follow the rules and get along and, and do what I'm, you know, asked to do in order to stay in a situation that's benefiting for myself. And if that's to stay warm and give up my money, you know, then that's what I do. And they, and they know that. And they know that, that they can, you know, that they can get that from me. So uh, that's, that's what makes me an easy target. I'm easy. I mean, I'm easy going and uh, 
it's just a, a matter of who who I give it to and why that um, plagues me. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go out and see if I can find somebody with some money so I can come back and repay part of my debt. And if I'm lucky, I get extra money and I could probably get some crack and I'll smoke crack. <laughs> and then my day begins. And it's what time? 11, 11.30 at night. This is my day. Vampires come out at night. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting ready <laughs> pretty much. It's a family that we all love each other for that moment. Because as soon as one gets a dollar more than the next one, they're going to bite your ass and turn you back. For sure, the family eats off not a saucer, not a plate, but a platter. You don't put some on the platter, you don't eat. The family eats its own regularly, and I mean regularly. I done seen them all. Be your friend today, soon as sunrise, bite that bitch head. That bitch lying. Just like that. Well, that was a day. <laughs> now, uh, me and her were supposed to go out and make some money. We go to the avenue. We're there about five minutes. Blue and white passes. And they just kind of looked at me and I went, I'm going in. And they just sat there and then they parked over there by the gas station and then I came here just, you know, to let everybody know that detectives were around in the area. Because I didn't come in and, and, and tell the, everyone I got stopped. I barely got in the door and I was waiting to see if she was right behind me because I was worried about her. I've been in the house a minute. I said it when I walked in. But Laura and me think differently. So. I think about the people that are dirty and got to know right away where she was more worried about if they had gotten me. So that was where she was at. I said it as soon as I came in. Your bitch ass didn't say shit. Who would you say it to, Rick? You say nothing to me. Rick is not people who are dirty. We are people who are dirty. You come in here and you let every motherfucking body know that the police is out there and they stopped you. Okay. I was hoping that she was right behind me. Laura, shut door. your fucking mouth because there ain't no fucking excuse for you not to tell us the police were out there and they stopped you. Yeah. Fuck is wrong with you, man? I like Laura, but she got so many issues. Um, Laura goes out and makes money every now and then. She's just, uh, I don't know what her purpose is. <laughs> Laura really doesn't do too much of anything except complain and get high. Can't steal and don't lie. Because if you lie, you steal, you steal, you kill. And you take one of them, take them two of yours. Cat brought up another language right there. That's just how she brought up. You, stole, you lied to her, that means you stole from her. If you stole from her, you're trying to hurt her. Every day you get up, somebody done stole something, somebody done lied to somebody. Somebody got some, somebody owed them. And as a lie told, we'll bring the violence out. Ain't shit free in this world. No matter where you go, you're gonna pay to get high. Hotel, car, somebody else out, you gonna pay to get high. You need to find someone else to pick on. Pick on? Mm -hmm. I'm not picking on you. Kids pick. It's my life, my family life. You walk out there doing say one thing, we all be gone. You still doing your little drugs. But you killed all of us. You think it's a joke to us? This is our life and our livelihood. We don't look at the drug game as a just get high. We eating off this motherfucker. We surviving off this motherfucker. You can take your life and go to the needle and go to that bullshit. We gonna have to pay a bill. That's what I'm talking about. You bullshit I don't yourself. Give a shit, really. That's what I'm, I've been telling you all the time. Okay, so we got that real straight. So death when he cuts you out, call you dummy and put you down. You got that straight. Cause you ain't respecting yourself. Let alone us. Oh, hold on. For, for the record, while we're on this, can I interrupt you for a minute? No, it's, it's your world. Okay, I'm just guessing. Out. Check this out. Check this out, Laura. The day I slapped you in the mouth, I thought you told on me. Didn't I say that to you? Right. You said, Cat, I swear I didn't say nothing about you. You know what? You were right. I got to tell you that. But you deserve that motherfucking mouth shut, as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> 
Because you know who you did tell them on? Are you going to admit what you said to them, Laura? I don't know. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. You want to stand up or you want to sit down so I can refresh your memory? It's going to be your choice right now. Okay, where are they? Okay, answer the first question. Do you want to stand up or do you want to stay seated so I can refresh your memory? Simple, simple. Okay, stand, stand up or sit down. I'm right. I'm still saying. Okay. Tell me what you're because I'm going to tell you one more fucking time. One time. I'm going to tell you right now. Do you recall the day the at the caravan that I slapped you in the mouth and okay. busted your mouth open? Okay, I already said yeah. Okay. We you want to cut me off again? No. Then shut your fucking mouth and listen to what I'm saying to you because I'm not going to repeat it anymore. And when I don't repeat it anymore and you still don't answer me, I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass down. So it's going to be your choice. Cut me off for listening to your choice. Okay? Do you recall that day that I busted your mouth open as soon as I seen you? Yes or no? Okay, I said yes already. Get cocky, Laura. See, my hands are right here. You... And Jamie had a problem. You were two guys from our house over at John's, yes or no? Yeah. When you opened the curtain, the detectives were there, right or wrong. You said two fucking names, you told Danny. Now you're gonna tell me a fucking cop is lying? I'm gonna bring you to Danny. I ain't got a problem with it. But you didn't tell them anything? How does this guy know my name and the name of Big Terry? Because we had been calling you and and, and dealing from, with Big Terry from earlier Hold on. when Hold I was on. with them. Hold on. When I call, I never call him Big Terry. So you can't even say that was me that said his name. Because I know better. Okay? They heard me say his name. Then why the fuck was I calling Big Terry to, to, to cop for you if you call him? If you sometimes call Big Terry to cop for yourself, Larry, uh, Larry, Laura, stop right here. I can't you really remember. Stop right here. Sometimes. Okay, stop right here. This is all irrelevant. This is all irrelevant. Because the day after I slapped you in the fucking mouth, could have been from a day to three, maybe five, I seen Danny and his partner sitting at the Shell gas station. I said, Danny, check it out. I want one question and one question in, only if you can answer it to me, please. He said, what's up, cat? I said, Dig, did she or didn't she say it was me that was selling the crack? Did she or didn't she say my name and tell them, tell you that that was me that was selling that cocaine? You know what he told me, Laura? Hello? I'm still listening to you, so. Okay. I'm up here. Okay, I know, and you got an audience. That's and fucking right. right. You know what, DJ? Can y'all motherfucking excuse me? Cause you said fucking Terry's name, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Why? Yeah, you told Danny that fucking Terry's name. Yeah, Danny. 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 You wanted to see all aspects of her in that 24 hour period and what she was about. And if she didn't label into me, then we wouldn't have seen that particular piece of what she is. And so that needed to happen for you and whoever sees that movie to get a, a, a broader view on, on that person that you did the documentary about. The camera, fuck that camera, that's just me. They've known me for 13 years. They know what I'm going to do. And if they don't by now, they're really, really stupid. I mean, that's because she told on my family. Feel me? That's where my family comes in at. I'm not going to let that happen. Something's going to tell She'll remember the next time she goes to tell on my family. And if she does again, then I'll do it again. Cat smacked Laura because Laura disrespected Cat in front of her brothers, in front of her crew, and in her house. Because, you know, 
You got one thing to look forward to. Respect. If you don't respect yourself, who will? And point blank. She disrespected Cat. Cat had to do it. Cat didn't have a choice. That's how Cat was broke, brought up around all these guys. You respect, you, it's a chain of command. If you disrespect the captain, respect the lieutenant, it'll fall down. That cat whole house will fall. And that's all she got is her house. And she gonna stand on that, she don't stand on nothing else. She got to stand for it. Cat is cat. Accepting the way she is, I get the fuck out of her way. You know, the first I heard about, like what she said with Terry and all that, that's the first time I ever heard that story. You know, but it just seems like it's always Laura, the one that gets it. For her to rehash that today, of all days, was like, where the hell is this coming from? She's been waiting a long time to do that? Okay, well, goody, goody. Well, I know what I didn't do, and I know what I'm about. So, you know, the fact that she's so bothered by it, it doesn't bother me, because I know what I didn't didn't do, so. She's upset. Oh, well. That I know what I'm about, and, and that ain't what I'm about. <laughs> so, like Cat, she has a, a lot of good ideas, but she uses a lot of force. Which, you know, when people come at you like that, people don't want to listen. Where you know you have to be more understanding and kind of, you know, be strong with the word no, and you know, just try to keep things even. You need to go tell shit out because I will smack the fuck out you myself. Shall I have a little yours? Yeah. I really care um, truly about all these people that run in the same circles I run because I know they have a lot of the same issues I have. And sometimes I think that they tend to forget and when they get into a little better situation than someone else is in, the way they act, you know, like, <laughs> you have to go. Is that how you want to be put out? You know, kick me when I'm down? Uh, but when I'm up and my pockets are bulging, you know, then it's, hey, look who's here. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, what's going on, you know? Then it's all nicey-nicey because obviously, and in my case, I'm a very giving person. And so when I got it, you got it. But when I don't got it, um, I will walk alone. Funny thing. Uh, but that's, that's family, right? You can't pick your family. And um, can we pick and choose the people that we're homeless with? No, not really. We're all just kind of stuck in this little um, whirlpool together and most of everybody here they're looking for some kind of mother or father for here anyway so they want to feel like they belong somewhere and this is a place that i guess most people do feel like they belong because you know we're always together you know so yeah everybody wants to feel like they belong somewhere whether you're on drugs or you're not on drugs, you just want to feel like, you know, you're somebody. Basically, they're all good people. They just got lost somewhere, you know. But they're good people. But and it's sad because, you know, society looks at them like, you know, you're no good, you're a drug addict, ah, you know. And most of them are very intelligent. And... You know, they have a lot going for them. They just, an addict, you know, we can't, sometimes you just can't help, you know, that you become an addict. You don't want to, you just say, oh, when I grow up, I'm gonna be a heroin addict. I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna be a crack user. It just happens, you know. They do have a heart and they do have feelings and people don't treat them like that. They treat them like they're, uh, you know, like not even an animal, because people treat animals even better. You know, so, because they're just looking for people that care for them, to, you know, and they're not out to really hurt anybody because they're already hurting themselves. Kathy, Kathy demands respect, and a lot of these females, they have, they're, 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 I ain't gonna lie, they're afraid of her. You have a choice. 
either go get the money or leave. Uh, who gave her that rank? Kathy gave herself that rank because, as I said in the beginning, Kathy claims this is her house. Wherever Kathy's at, that's her house. If she goes to your house, Greg, it's, it's, it'll be her house. She'll tell you that in the door. This is my fucking house. You know, that's just Kathy. And when you're on a survival quest, you have to do whatever it is you have to do to survive. She went from, from a sweet, cuddly, beautiful woman to a rock, a cold ass rock. She was introduced to Phyllis. Hey, Mike. No comment. Your letter's out in the car yet. You I think it has souls, eh? Yeah, well, there's still a couple of jackets out there. Demigod. Uh, take care of your brother. Everybody yeah, in our family please. eats. Yeah. I will get them when I go into the room after I take my stuff into the room. Excuse you? Yeah, yeah. Everybody here eats. So. Why eat we all eat? I am trying to do this now. Every day starts with the lie. Wake up, good morning. Ain't shit good about this morning. We're still in the same dump. So what's good about this morning? But somehow at the end of the day, we all come back together, sit at the same table, push everything on the table, and if you don't bring it to the table, you don't get nothing off the table. I already told JR what it was. That shit gonna be interesting. <laughs> Why? It's only gonna be one question. It's gonna turn out interesting. It just doesn't, yeah, it doesn't pay to hold a grudge, because uh, isolating yourself isn't, you're not gonna, you're not gonna make it on your own without uh, help from each other. You really, you really need, we really need each other. We just need to remind each other of that, or some light needs to be shown uh, to us in our own, uh, in our own way. That, uh, gosh, I wouldn't have been able to get through this without that person. Or I'm so glad she was there. I'm so glad I was with her, or him, uh, when that happened last night. And so, um, incidents like that will take place and um, hopefully shine a little bit of light on where we're at and what we should be doing for ourselves, for our friends, and for who we call family.